Alcohol Test Part 3 Emergency Situations In this video we're going to show you how to compare the emergency situations in Part 3 of the ICAL test. In Part 3 of the ICAL test, the candidate will listen to three audios. After listening to the audios, the examiner will ask the candidate to compare the three situations as follows. Now considering the three situations you heard, how would you compare them and which one is the hardest to deal with? By following this tip, you will be able to answer the question fluently. In my opinion, the first situation is not so serious. Or, in my opinion, the second situation is not so serious. Or, in my opinion, the third situation is not so serious. This is where you state which situation out of the three is not so hard to deal with. The first, second or third is worse than the first, second or third because reason 1, reason 2 and reason 3. This is where the candidate must compare the second most serious situation with the least serious situation and give three examples why it is worse. But the first, second or third is the worst situation to deal with because reason 1, reason 2 and reason 3. This is where the candidate must say which situation they think is the worst to deal with and give three reasons why. Now you will see an example of how to compare the emergency situations. Brazil S Center, Anak 123. We are experiencing severe turbulence at flight level 300. A passenger is injured. We request to return to Brasilia. Anak 123, Roger. Turn right heading 115 and descend to flight level 240. Medical assistance will be provided upon arrival. In situation number one, the problem was severe turbulence and an injured passenger. Now listen to situation number two. Paris Control, Anak 123. I had a tail strike during takeoff. We need to climb to a safe altitude in order to check our systems before returning. Anak 123, Roger. Climb to 4,000 feet. Maintain 120 radio from Paris, VOR. Call back for vectors to return. In situation number two, the problem was a tail strike. Now listen to situation number three. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Real departure. Anak 123. We lost thrust in both engines. We'll try to return to Galileo Airport, but we might need to ditch. Anak 123, Roger. Turn left, heading 230 to land on runway 10. In situation number three, the problem was a loss of thrust in both engines and a possible ditching. Now the examiner will request you to compare the last three situations. Now considering the three situations you heard, how would you compare them and which one do you think is the most difficult to deal with? Observation. The words highlighted in yellow is a structure that we recommend the candidate memorizes. In my opinion, the first situation is not so serious. The second situation is worse than the first because a tail strike can cause the aircraft to be grounded for maintenance services due to severe structural damage, flight cancellations and delays, and finally the pilot may have to burn or dump fuel before returning to the airport. I think the third situation, which was a loss of thrust in both engines, is the most serious out of the three because a loss of thrust in both engines can cause a disaster, deaths, and finally it's very difficult for the pilots to resolve. Now it's your turn. Subscribe to our website at www.english4ikl.com and continue practicing exercises from part 3 of the ICAL test. Thank you for watching our video.